Well, it's early morning Thursday, Boxing Day. I pretty much was suffering the last couple of days. I was down and out. I've been sleeping off and on for several hours and then getting up and then going back to bed and sleeping for another couple hours. The pressure on my head was so bad in the last two days that this, it's not describable. Um, no matter what kind of pills, I was taking Tylenol and Naproxen and nothing was working out. I just don't know what the heck is going on in my head. Tomorrow I go for that CT scan, so I guess we'll find out what happens there. But it's been like I've been in a vortex or distant in my brain really bad for the last two days. <clears throat> uh, talk about surviving Christmas. Well, I didn't have to worry about that because I was pretty much down and out over both days. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So, it's really not much of a difference. Um, I lay down. I'll give you an example. I lay down and I close my eyes and it's like I was going either to repose or being snatched away, one or the other. And it felt like that for the whole day. And I was like, okay, well, let it be for sure. But the pressure was so bad that I couldn't get rid of the pressure back here, over here, and around my skull. Felt like I had a cap on. Like, and it still does today. I'm not saying it's gone away because it hasn't. I'm here this morning because I promised to Talk to you folks this morning. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow with the CT scan, but... You know, if they don't find anything, you know, this isn't something I'm making up. In my brain. It isn't. Because it's real. Very real. But... Though the people on the outside think it is. You know, my wife maybe thinks that because I didn't really enjoy Christmas like I should have with her. Uh, and that wasn't my fault, for sure. But, uh, I think, you know, she supports me and loves me. So, that's the most important part. I, I don't know what's going to happen. <clears throat> it's all in his hands, of course. You know, when you suffer a trial this intense, for this long, going on nine weeks, then, you know, after a while, you you just don't know what the heck to do. You know, you're at that point of total, total, like, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, take me home, snatch me away, put me to repose. I'm more than welcome. <laughs> I'm more than happy to do what you should do in your will. But to live with it, it's hard. Uh, coming up the new year, I have no job. I have no income. The same thing every month for me right now but uh, we survived to to make it through January at least after that I have no idea I know I'm depending on what's actually wrong with me I'll have to do some kind of medical disability something to get some kind of income coming in here while I'm going through what I'm going through whatever it is I'll just put it that way. So, this is kind of just a Thursday rant in the sense of what I've been going through. I love you all. I hope you all had a good holidays or whatever. I, you know, holidays, Christmas, who cares? To me, it means diddly squat, really. But, uh, I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to come every day and do a show. Uh, tomorrow I'll bring another show. So, uh, We'll talk to you folks tomorrow.